Whether you are using Pro Tools, Ableton Live, Cubase, Studio One, FL Studio, or any other DAW that runs in Windows, I'm going to show you how you can make that DAW run faster on Windows. So let's get right into it. Here I have a track inside of Studio One, but like I said, this can work in any DAW whatsoever. And uh, it's it's running pretty well, but I'm starting to get, to get like some pops and clicks when I am recording through my interface. <laughs> So I'm hanging around like 60%. And, and there's other things that you can do inside of your DAW, uh, but that's not what we're going to get into in this video. This video specifically, I'm talking about Windows. So if you click Control, Shift, and Escape, you're going to see your Task Manager. What I can do is I can click More Details, and then it's going to open up this tab here. Your Processes, your Performance, App History, Startup, Users, Details, and Services, the whole nine yards, right? You're probably pretty familiar with at least this page, um, or at the very least, this page. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to go over here to Details. And then I want to scroll down until I find my DAW. If you're using Cubase, you look at Cubase. I'm using Studio One, so I'm going to see Studio One here. And there's two instances here, Studio One. What I want to do is I want to right click and I want to set priority. Now there's a couple different options here for setting priority. What this does is it essentially prioritizes uh, the processing inside of your computer and there's a few things that you're going to want to do. So Setting it in real time can cause some issues, but I like to set mine to high. Now keep in mind, this can still cause issues on your machine. And if it's starting to cause issues, take it back uh, to normal or maybe try above normal. But I honestly don't recommend real time. So you can set it to high here. And of course, it's gonna let us know that it could cause some system instability. And then I'm gonna come over here to this one and I'm gonna set priority to high as well. So now that I have both of these set to high priority, now I can take a look at what it's doing in uh, the processing power. So I saved a few uh, percentage points here, but that's actually not the biggest difference that it made. The biggest difference that it made is now it is prioritizing Studio One. So if there's any pops or clicks that I was having while I was recording, a lot of those are now going to be fixed because it's prioritizing Studio One over every other app running in the background. And there is a lot of background applications that are going. I mean, even Windows uses, I think, like two gigabytes uh, or three gigabytes just to run Windows. So by setting your DAW to a higher priority, you can absolutely get some more processing power out of your computer. And there is a way to do this permanently, the, but I'm not going to share that with you because I don't want you changing some stuff in your registry and bricking your computer and then blaming me for it. <laughs> uh, but every time you open your DAW, you will have to set your DAW as a high priority. If you start having issues, that's when I like to turn it on. Most of the time I don't have issues unless I'm using a lot of MIDI instruments or I'm really asking a lot from my computer. Then I can turn it to high priority once I notice that there's an issue. I hope this helps. and I'll see you in the next one. Now, as always, go create.